we're at the Lucky Lab at the 2009 Barley Wine Fest. We're here with uh, Ben Love from Hopworks Urban Brewery. Uh, what are you drinking, Ben? I'm drinking the um, 04 Sierra Nevada Bigfoot. Yeah, I was wondering why you were talking shit about Sierra Nevada earlier, and that beer. I mean, I thought it was pretty good. Talking shit about Sierra Nevada or Sam Adams? <laughs> so, about the impending uh, Anheuser Busch buy of Hopworks. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, what? All right, let's talk about uh, let's talk about Berliner Weiss. Are you a fan of? The I am the fans. I have heard that Hopworks is going to do a Berliner Weiss coming soon. Is this possible? It, it is. It's actually uh, it's something we tried to do last summer, and uh, it was just we didn't have enough production space to put it together, and so it's something we still want to do. You know, like uh, get some fresh fruits, like uh, some organic, you know, raspberry puree, maybe some organic peach, you know, whatever uh, local and fresh we can get, and you know, kind of like be the type of thing where you can come to the bar, you get it straight up. Or you could get it with, uh, you know, the raspberry, peach, whatever, blackberry. I don't know, man. Uh, Marion berry, and uh, and the bartender would do it up right at the bar there for you. So you're gonna do the syrup? Are you gonna do that weird, ass, disgusting mint syrup? Um, I, I'm not down for that, but I know last year when we talked about it, uh, Christian is really into the German brewing scene, and so I think I think he was down for uh, if we could get our hands on some Woodruff. You know, making that happen. That's what you're talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the Woodruff. I think he'd be he'd be into that, so Yeah. <laughs> Alright, it should be interesting. Uh, are you gonna do uh, like a traditional? Or are you gonna use like Lactobacillus or what are you guys gonna do? You know, I really I, we didn't get that far into it when we were looking into it, but I'm I'm guessing that we would uh um essentially do a traditional one, obviously it'd be organic and uh we talk with the guys up at Y East as far as like getting the right uh, yeast strain for that beer. So I mean, yeah, it would be lactobacillus. I know some people have done like a, a sour mash profile, which like accentuates the lactobacillus that's existing in the malt. Um, that's also another uh, potential way to do it. But I think we'd probably go the traditional route. So we got kind of a sour beer thing going on right now. We're working on it. Okay. So. So tell me about your uh, Baltic Stout. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Jamie Rodriguez about the Baltic Newbie Stout. Yeah. It's a new hybrid style. It's coming out. It's called Extra Baltic now. <laughs> Sorry, in, in jokes. <laughs> uh, what else is coming up from Hopworks in the future? Um, next week we're going to be releasing our alt. So it's a, it's a shticka alt. So uh, secret alt, which is higher, a little bit higher gravity and more hops, and uh, your typical alt, which is like 4.5 percent alcohol, and uh, so it's like uh, what it's like around six percent. And obviously, we're using some American hops, uh, some Cascade, especially like Cascade, uh, Select, and then uh, some Rainier. So it's a nice hoppy beer. Uh, besides that, we got an Abbey that's going to be coming out. Um, which is kind of our entry for the Portland Cheers to Belgian beers. But then we also uh, took that beer and we put it, we racked it into a Zinfandel barrel and two uh, Cabernet barrels. And in the Zin barrel, it's got 60 pounds of local sour cherries. And in the two Cab barrels, uh, each one has a different strain of bread. So we're hoping to have that done in time for uh, the Portland Cheers to Belgian beers. Oh, so you're gonna have a wild yeast beer for the Cheers to Belgian beers. It's crazy. What did what did what did Christian feel about that? Oh, he's down for that. Yeah, I mean, we from the from early on, him and I have been talking about um, you know getting a lot of barrels going, doing a lot of sour beers. Obviously, we've been doing uh, bourbon barrel aged beers for a while, but you know, getting the bourbon barrels going, getting the wine barrels going, getting uh, you know trying to get our hands on some tequila barrels and some rum barrels. And so, I mean, uh, you know, if we had our way, you'd see huge stacks of barrels with uh, everything, obviously, from bourbon barrel aged to uh, uh, sour beers going on. You know, maybe even a lambic, although, uh, you know, obviously that won't be ready for a couple of years, so. But it's still a dream. So, that's a possibility that you might do, like, a traditional lambic, let it sit for a couple of years, 
Yeah. Uh, but it's it's not uh, happening yet or might happen or what? It hasn't happened yet. It's one of those things like, I mean, we've been so busy just doing production, you know, I mean, we went from, you know, basically zero barrels to over 3,000 barrels last year, and we're shooting for uh, like 5,000 barrels this year, and so, I mean, we're so busy with the day-to-day -day operation that something like a Lambic takes planning because we have to um, source all those uh, wine barrels that we'd have to bring in, all those neutral wine barrels, and then obviously uh, finding time to uh, <laughs> finding time to to brew the beer and, and rack it into those barrels and stuff. I guess it's really just you know it's just the time that it takes to do that. So I mean we want to put it together. It's just a matter of. Uh, yeah, finding the time to do it. So. Probably the most, the biggest reason you don't see a lot of sour beer produced, uh, you know, in America is probably just the cost because the time that it takes to brew it and it takes up uh, fermenter space and aging space. Correct. Well, I mean, with like a lambic, then it doesn't take up fermenter space. I mean, you're gonna rack it right into the barrels. Yeah, but I mean, but you're right. Like, like it takes up space in your brewery. You know, you gotta have room to store things like that and also people are um, a lot of brewers are worried about uh, you know the wild yeast lactobacillus uh, you know the pediococcus all that stuff obviously you're growing up large amounts about of it so people are worried about that infecting their other beers you know um, we have two sides to our brewery we have a kind of a storage area that we can put those in but besides that I mean we we're really tight on our on our cleaning and everything like that in the brewery and so so that fear for us doesn't exist I mean you see guys like uh, Vinny down Russian River he's been doing it for a long time with no issues you know you go to his brewery and the the barrel room is like right next to the brewery you know as long as you're clean as long as you have good practices you're gonna be I think you're gonna be okay long term so yeah, this is one of the common misconceptions uh, about wild yeast. That every time we talk about, like, especially open fermentation and stuff, people are, like, freaking out. But as long as you keep, you know, you know what you're doing and you keep a clean brewery, I mean, uh, it's pretty controllable. It's pretty common in uh, Belgium, right, for uh, open fermentation and using all this wild yeast without infection. In the U.K. also, you know, fer fermentation is pretty prevalent, or it was, you know, and, uh, and I mean... In the U.K.? Yeah. Yeah. In, in the UK. <laughs> in the UK. The United Kingdom. That's England. That's England, guys. For illiterate. Sorry to interrupt. I'll just do my job. Alright. Well, sounds good. Uh, we're looking forward to. Uh, are you going to just get into the Fresh Hop Fest at uh, Hopworks again next year? Actually, um, the Fresh Hop Fest has always it's been uh, going from location to location. It's looking like, at this point, it's still not finalized, but it's looking like it's going to be at uh, Oaks Park. Uh, well, I'll, I'll say this. <laughs> Last time I went to Oaks Park, I kicked out for alcoholic beverages. So, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I mean, it worked out that, um, you know, we, we're kind of looking that we need a larger location for it. And because it was so popular, you know, I mean, we had such a high attendance at, uh, at Hopworks this year, and it's been growing every year. And so, um, Oaks Park, you know, we looked at it, you know, they got a large area, they have all their the security in place, you know, and it turned out that um, uh, Zenner's, you know, uh, Sausages does an Oktoberfest um, basically the week before we're looking at doing our event. So, we're still in negotiations for it, but. Um, but it would work out really well because they have plenty of parking there. You can bike down there, you know, via the uh, via the waterfront. You can take a bus down there. I mean, it's it's really a good scene, and um, and it turns out that it's pretty reasonably priced for for uh, for a beer festival venue, and it's large, and we can do our own food. I mean, it's one of those things like as we looked into it more and more, there's more and more pluses, and obviously that's a Oregon Brewers Guild event. So, um, kind of need some final finalization from that, uh, which I'm on the board of the guild. Um, but uh, but it's looking like that's where it's going to be next year, and I think it's going to be a really cool spot long term. You know? Yeah, it sounds cool to have like a regular established spot. Yeah, exactly. As long as I there's no kids like. Oh, can can you can you do uh, the rides with microbrews? So that is the key question. Can you get drunk and say? 
and get all some stuff. I'm sure you could you could drink beer and then and then go ride on the rides because the rides are gonna be they're gonna be in operation. What ride will you be on? Probably the uh, what is it the mouse trap the uh, roller coaster. I grew up around here, so so I remember all those. Rides. Not on the haunted house. That's really not that great a ride there. I'd say the mouse trap. I mean, because it's like so rickety that you almost you're afraid you're actually this is gonna fall apart and you're gonna die. You know, so it adds that level. All right, that was the interview with Ben Love. Uh, the haunted house? No. Ben Love says mouse trap. All right, mouse trap, unstable, and you might die. But I, I had my uh, eight, eight year old uh, birthday party there, and it's it's all nightmares. <laughs> but.